Hi, I'm George Hussey from Automobile Atlanta, and today we're doing a tour of an Ultima Volkswagen Beetle. They called it an Ultima because it was the last series of Beetles made in the Mexican plant before the mark passed into history. We bought this car through a Mexican customer of ours who actually drove it over the border from Laredo, Mexico to Laredo, Texas, and brought the car here to put on display and that's where it's been ever since. And it's a great customer conversation piece because the customers come into our shop and if they're of any age, say born before 1960, they know the Beetle era well, and we ask them, what year is this car? And they look, and if they know a little bit about Beetles, they look and they see that it's got this chrome bumper without the overriders on it and the flat headlights and no turn signals, and they say, well, maybe that's a 68. And I said, well, that's a good guess, because in 68, that was the first year of taking the overriders off and making it more of this crash-type bumper and putting the headrests in here. But no, this is actually a 2004 model, and we are actually surprised that it is so true to the original form. This is a 1600 cc exact dimension of the original Beetle, not Super Beetle, swing arm, four speed transaxle that now has fuel injection and electronic ignition and hydraulic lifters. So you get the ultimate. You get a car that will blow you all over the road, that has no power, that the doors close with a vacuum. Hard to close, you have to close them twice, but yet looks identical virtually identical to a 68 through maybe a 79 Beetle. The Ultima Edition, they made 2,500 of these, came in either the powder blue or pewter colored and featured the chrome stainless steel script back on the car along with the Carmen badge and the chrome bumpers and the chrome surrounds. The Beetles got cheap in the last years and a lot of them were used for taxis so they stripped all the chrome off of them and just made them a utilitarian vehicle. For the Ultima edition, they put all of the chrome back on, including the chrome side molding, and then put wide white walls to give it that retro look and color keyed wheels. Other than that, the car was the standard issue of Beetles of that era, but yet these, the last 2,500, they put a tag, that I'll show you in a moment, they put a tag on the glove box specifying Ultima Edition. So quite celebratory and we're very, very happy to have this one here. The giveaway in the back of this car are the larger than life taillights, we call them, because even in 68 the taillights were a lot smaller. But these are a very, very late issue, so anybody knowing anything will see the giant taillights and know that there's something fishy going on, not quite a 68 model. So I can lift that rear deck lid. Notice it has a lock. There's a lot of security issues in Mexico, so these cars come standard with a factory alarm system, believe it or not, I'll show that to you, and a locking rear deck lid. I think the last year of the locking rear deck lid was 1959. I remember as a child of eight getting a Volkswagen 1960 model for my parents' 10th wedding anniversary. Granny bought it for them and the across the street neighbor having a 59 and they look pretty identical except I noticed that the 59 had the lock and the 60 didn't. So we can see by opening the engine compartment, we have immediately you can see the electronic ignition, electronic distributor and the coil pack to fire, along with the throttle body for the fuel injection, which you can see over here. Plus, it's got an alternator. So you've got the best of everything here. You've got a reliable car that starts every single time, never will fail, no carburation to fool with whatsoever. And on top of that, we can't see them, but it's got hydraulic lifters, so no more valve adjustment. Although, when this car sits a while and we try to start it, it rattles a storm until the lifters pump up. And sometimes that takes 10 to 15 minutes. Sort of crazy, you wouldn't think they'd leak down like that. Standard equipment on all of these Beetles of the later era were a fire extinguisher, which Obviously, with an air-cooled engine, you always want to have on hand. But with the Ultima Edition, they added a factory stereo CD player, which is fun, with the four speakers, actually four speakers in this car. And what gives it away is the Ultima Edition badge. 
this is probably worth five thousand more on the, over the value of a uh, regular standard 2003-2004 Volkswagen. Notice the color keyed grille, just retro, just like the old ones, and fuel gauge, odometer, uh, later model steering wheel, later model and um, wiper and turn signal, almost reminiscent of uh, maybe an 82-924 of the era. And we had these Ultima Edition mats made, but fully carpeted, which is nice. And very, very comfortable high back seats with the extra headrest. And of course, the lap belts. Also because, again, the, uh, the high theft rate in Mexico, this has a built-in alarm and a security lug for the key. If you don't have the key and the security lug, the alarm on or off, it will not start. So you lose this lug, which is an electronic transmitter, and the car will never start. So they're quite theft-proof. And with the alarm, and I'll show you that on the other side in a moment, with the alarm combination, nobody can steal these anymore. So I released the engine compartment via the glove box lever and the first thing that strikes me is this has a switch right here which is reminiscent of any later model Porsche or Volkswagen door switch. So we think, well this must be for the trunk light and think why does a Volkswagen have a trunk light? Well it's not, it's for the alarm system. So in case you were able to lift the hood, the alarm would also go off. No longer do we have the spare tire pressurizing the windshield washer system. We have a regular electric washer system, finally in this car, with a big tank. <clears throat> and then the brake fluid is right here. Same springs that hold the hood up, same exact construction. We have a charcoal canister over here for emissions, which the earlier ones didn't have. And the fuel tank, in its original place, original fuel tank, but with an outside filler right over here. And a locking cap. The alarm switch is right here. It's a round key, and it always reminded me of a Coca-Cola machine. They used to always have these round locks, almost out of place, but yet it is a factory alarm switch. And finally, flat H4 seven-inch headlights. These really provide good lighting for those desolate, empty roads. So that's it. That is the tour of the 2004 VW Beetle Ultima Edition. The last 2500 to roll off the assembly line before the mark faded into history. Thanks for watching. George Hussey, Automobile Atlanta.